Hello and uh, good afternoon, I'm Neil and uh, this is a Kona Syndicone electric bike that um, I bought about five years ago and then uh, put an electric kit on it which is manufactured by a company called Curry which uh, is, I think it's uh, an American brand it's a 450 watt motor uh, has the capability of spinning this bike quite happily along on the flat in windless conditions really up to about sort of 18 17 18 mile an hour i've upgeared it a bit to just give it a little bit of extra push but pedaling along you can quite happily maintain something about 15 16 mile an hour um, it's got a 24 volt rear light built into it um, it's sort of a bit cobbled together because the battery system when it came was just a 24 volt uh, lead acid type i've fitted a lithium polymer battery on it which has still got plenty of life left in it and the chargers here as well um, it's got a uh, rear carrying pack on it which actually you can fit another battery onto the back of it I uh, just uh, google up curry and you'll see all about it so you can fit another bit there's some spares and a few other odds and sods about with it as well um, upgraded saddle uh, the quick release broke on the, on the saddle bit so there's a bolt through there um, headset doesn't come loose it's got a bell it's got a <laughs> he says yeah there we go bell works 21 speed uh, Shimano uh, group set on it. It's a Dior group set with um, front wheel Mavic and Continental uh, travel contact, which are good um, commuting tyres with a bit of knob all around the outside, but generally a very slick um, runner. Uh, main tread, pat tread pattern so that you uh, you maintain a decent level of uh, low friction on the road so it runs quite nicely uh, I'm five foot seven and at that set up there it's uh, perfect for me so I wouldn't go much you wouldn't want to be much smaller than uh, or much taller than say 510 I would have thought for comfortable riding with the saddle so it's a relatively smaller frame but it's all okay uh, the gear change mechanism all works fine. It's just a bit tired. Um, it could do with a decent service if you've uh, if you're so inclined. The uh, the motor's nice and powerful still. The battery pack's good. There's mud guards with it. As I said, the odometer comes with it as well. Let's actually, say how many miles I've done on it. Let's have a quick look. No distant uh, odometer. Blimey, 1,772 miles it says there, and I've reset that maybe a couple of times, so it's probably done about two and a half thousand miles. Uh, I've just I bought another uh, electric bike. I'm moving. I haven't got the space to keep uh, um, too many bikes hanging about, so we've sold a couple recently. It's got front shocks, Avid brakes, um, the front's quick release that comes out nice and quickly. There's two bottle cages on it. A little tear to the saddle just in there, but great problems uh, it's an alloy frame these pedals I've owned for absolutely years I reckon tw nearly 20 years but they still spin absolutely perfectly they really are really well made they were Shimano I paid a lot of money for them the reflector on both sides I think but uh, toe straps on there you might want to get rid of the toe straps it's not an ideal setup for most people but um, that's the pedals that it's going to come with um, right there's a, a switch on the back here that you just click over you hear a little click from the um, uh, from the solenoid inside or whatever. So there's a, a controller in there, and then it's all um, just throttle driven basically. Let me see if I can spin it up for you. How am I going to do this? <laughs> okay. Be able to get this sorted out. Right. Lift the pump. as I can get. It's quite heavy, it's done, it's about, um, I would have thought probably not far off a 30 kilo bike, um, I should imagine, but it does run smoothly, it's given me many happy years of, of, uh, of use. Um, put a newish chain on it not that long ago, unfortunately I think the rear sprockets are a bit worn, uh, the rear wheel's got a slight buckle in it as well, but nothing too much to worry about. And for Bath and around here, it's been an absolute godsend. I broke my kneecap going back many years, and I can't ride really well. Front uh, lamp is there as well. That works. We did have a 24 volt Cree lamp on it till recently, which unfortunately broke. Um, but lightweight mud guards, 
Uh, I've used it for a little bit of off-road actually and it's uh, not too bad but obviously the tyres aren't conducive for too much off-road. Headset stays tight. Okay, maybe repeating myself here, but the brakes are good. You could jump on this and ride it to Bristol as it stands. From here, it's about 17 miles, which I've done on various occasions. Stand with it, obviously. Uh, it's an alloy rear wheel, which comes part of the kit. And um, as I say, 24 volt rear light on there. So your battery basically powers that. Um, so it's twist grip throttle only. There's no pedal X sensor, just twist grip only. And um, as I say, it'll push it along on a relatively calm day on the flat up to about 17 miles an hour. You won't get much use out of the battery though at that sort of level, but uh, certainly if you enjoy pedaling and riding a bike, she's not too bad. There are some keys with it as well, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there we are. That's a cinder cone uh, mountain bike with an electric kit on it. Proper little bike for uh, the weather coming in. So if you want to just zip off to work and it's not too attractive or expensive, so it's not like you're going to be worried about leaving a, what could be something like a two and a half thousand pound electric bike chained up for all and sundry to come along and nick. So it's not going to worry you too badly in that respect. Um, but there we are. Hope this is uh, going to be of some use to somebody. So um, if you want to give me a call, uh, telephone numbers on the uh, advert there, or just Google at bathcars.co.uk, and you'll see uh, many videos that I've done over the years. Okay, the battery holds its charge well, and so do the tyres, they stay inflated well as well. And um, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching, bye bye.